who's up early? As I get older, more things aggravate me. Anybody else in their 50s who doesn't take happy pills uh, seem to be aggravated by other people more and more and more? Curious to know. Um, you're only going to grow old once and you're only going to be young once. So Then you're going to die. Uh, so uh, we go out and eat you know, fairly often, but we eat pretty well. And then last night when I'm out, and I'm not picking on people, but they're out eating, so they have disposable income is what you would think, right? Because it's not cheap to go out and eat. Uh, it's also not cheap to eat good or bad. It's, it's super expensive. But if you remember, I guess, so I'm going to be 51. Like 20 years ago, the world went after the fast food industry and said trans fats, saturated fats, you can't cook your french fries with this shit anymore because you're making America fat and obese and overweight. So I said to April, I'm like, no, it, it, it can't be just genetics, but then it could, you know, because I've seen parents who were big, big people, and I'm not picking on them, I'm saying, Maybe they have health issues. Maybe they have poor eating habits. Or maybe a combination of both. But with all the technology and medicine and exercises today. And surgery. There's no reason for anyone to be in an unhealthy state. And, and they do contribute being overweight. Uh, for many health issues today. Which is a burden on the healthcare industry as well. But going back to what I said. Where the world went after fast food places and said, nope, you can't cook your, can't cook your french fries and blah, 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 you're making America fat, America's the fattest, you know, have the you know, most overweight people in the entire world and blah, 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 so I said, well, what's your excuse now, world, I still see tons of people overweight, and children, swollen like a tick, like an Oompa Loompa, you remember that, the movie where the girl ate the blueberry chewing bubble gum? And she was a skinny little thing, and she blew up like a squirrel. Children, completely overweight. And adolescents, and all the way, and adults too. And I'm not picking on this, but I'm just saying, like, when the world went after the fast food industry and said, "Here, this is you know a reason," and 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 then <laughs> made them stop producing those those products. Well, what's the results say? Results saying to me because I'm out and I see and I look and see and I'm not talking about people who are in the gym all the time and uh, and who are jogging and running and bicycling. Exclude all those people. How about that? How much of an impact did that have? And if you're overweight and you love yourself, that's great. Uh, but I'm just saying in general, like the industry, the world went after trans fats and all that and made it public and news and forced, you know, restaurants and people to stop preparing their foods in it, but I still see a lot of obese people, I see a lot of obese children, we'll say overweight too. Um, someone let me know, just, you know, some things that I think about here, you know, it's like ethanol fuel and solar, solar energy, I'm just going to spin into something else. And, and we have we have solar panels everywhere in South Jersey. Like every telephone pole, solar field, solar fields at school. My electric bill has only went up. It has not went down. It has not went down. So if you're creating renewable energy, and when this is just another thing, the world went after, you know, the world and said. We need renewable energy, and if we don't start this now, or, you know, we're going to wind up supernova and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, we're going to make places look ugly. We're going to put windmills up. We're going to do solar panels everywhere. Um, we're going to give you free solar panels, which is a lie. They didn't do that at all. It was just complete bullshit. Um, my electric bill has only went up. And even if you have a solar system, your credits 
aren't even like that great. It depends on your usage, but like I said, they put all these solar panels up, but where has it, hasn't saved me any money. Somebody's saving money somewhere or somebody's getting a big friggin' raise, but the people are, you know, the people are suffering. And I just like my Tesla, uh, if you're following along with the Tesla, that piece of crap, I would never buy another battery power again, power vehicle again. What a waste of money uh, that is. And thank God I leased it because that is just a noose around your neck. Uh, we just went over went over what the costs were and what they are now. So wind energy and solar energy keep developing and keep popping up everywhere, but the cost of the cost of the electricity is going up and up and up. Where is the reduction in that? So typically, when you say, "Hey, we're going to do something and we're going to drive." Uh, clean energy and freer energy and blah 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 well where's the where's the savings to the, the population zero and you know who's getting all that money the states the governments the federal somebody's getting it ceos are getting big checks um and like ethanol fuel oh e ethanol fuel is going to be so much cheaper than gasoline no it's not no it's not so much cheaper um, have you compared E85 or E10 or E15 to regular petrol petro with uh, gasoline? It's not that big of a savings. You know what's worse? It beats the shit out of your car. It destroys your fuel system. It, it clogs your injectors. It turns into water way faster. It turns into water. So you, if you remember regular petrol gasoline years and years and years ago, if you smelled old fuel... It smelled like lacquer thinner um, with some water in it. Now, if you have the E10 and E15 and E85 and all that stuff, that stuff doesn't last very long in your fuel tank. I mean, you could have a full tank of bad E85 gas sitting in a climate that's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold swings. And all that is is just moisture, moisture, moisture and destroying your, your fuel system. Some of these vehicles today have a volatility content um, uh, sensor that tells you what the quality of the fuel is like in that fuel system. And I've seen low, I've seen high, and you know I've seen it all over the place and the car still runs. That means the car is, is spraying uh, a lot of water and whatever other contaminants are going on that eventually to a point that vehicle will start to run poorly because your engine wasn't designed. Your engine wasn't designed to run on that formulation of fuel. But who's who's benefiting from E85? I know the race car industry is because it's way cheaper than uh, race gas, right? So, and what are they doing to the uh, the hot rod industry? Tracks are closing all over the place. So, you know, the guy who has a, a boosted vehicle and runs E85, those guys pretty much know how to manage uh, E85. But if you don't know how to run, if you don't know how to manage it, you're asking for destroying your fuel system and, and uh, many things. But I challenge somebody, actually somebody in the industry knows, they know the difference. If you buy Super, and how many people are out there buying Super at the pump? It is my experience, if you buy Super, it has chemicals added to it because Super is better fuel and it's a cleaner fuel, and this can be argued with people, but I'll tell you, if I leave a, a tank of Super sitting in something that I don't use, like your snow blower or a weed whacker or something like that, I don't have no problem starting that bitch the next year or the following year. Put regular gasoline in that crap and let it sit. Now you'll see the difference. You, your carbs clogged, it's sludged, or whatever the case may be. I'm saying, you know, all these lies that it's better, it's better for you, it's gonna save you money, it's better for the environment. In my opinion, it's all lies. All lies. Let me know what you think. Just some thoughts that go through my head.